All right, welcome to this R tip. This is R tip five, and what we're going to be doing is creating an Excel workbook automatically, automating it from R. So let's check this out. If you haven't done so already, you got to get the R tips set up on GitHub, and I'm just going to do a quick Git pull to make sure I'm up to date. And I've got my 05, my 005 Excel workbook folder. That's what we're going to be working out of today. So what we're going to be creating is this stock analysis.excel file. And here's what it looks like. So we've got a little pivot table here, or a table of stock returns, and it's got the different stocks that we have in the yearly returns for each of the years. And then it's got the plot, the chart of each of these different stock symbols, Apple, Google, Netflix, and NVIDIA. So we're going to be creating this in R. Okay, to get started, I'm going to open up the 005 Excel workbook r file and this is going to be the r file that we're going to use in order to be able to create that stock analysis xlsx file i'm going to open up the outline over here and we're just going to go down through and um, and check out this code so um, just remember if you haven't done so already check out the weekly r tips um, sign up for the newsletter so you get this in your email inbox weekly we've got tons of great r tips coming so definitely check that out um, to get started here, what we're going to do is we're going to load in the libraries, open XLSX. This is what's going to be allowing us to interface with the Excel. We're going to load my library, TidyQuant. It's one of my R packages. Um, we're also going to load the Tidyverse and we're going to load TimeTK. So I've loaded them all down here and, uh, and, and we can get started. We're going to pull in some stock data. So I'm using this function called TQGit from TidyQuant, and I'm going to pull in the stock data from Apple, Google, Netflix, and NVIDIA over this time range. So when I run this line of code here, hit Control and Enter, it's downloading, and then the output looks something like this, where we've got a data frame or a tibble of uh, stock data. So I've got 10,060 by 8, so 10,060 rows by 8 columns. And you can see the symbols here, uh, the date, and then the adjusted column is what we're going to be working with. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create some tables and plots from this data. So this is the raw data, and these are the adjusted prices. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take that data and pivot it um, by year. So I'm going to take the year of this column, and that's going to be in my rows. And then um, I'm going to take the symbol column and pivot that over the top. And then the values, I'm going to summarize the adjusted price. I'm going to do percentage change first to last. And what this is going to do is it's going to calculate for each year the uh, percentage changes. So when I run this, I get something that looks like this, where we've got each year here. We've got each stock here. And this is basically an Excel pivot table uh, that I've just done in R. And it's got the percentage changes for each year. The red indicates negatives, the whites are positives. Um, then uh, what I'm going to do, I don't like the name here of this column, so I want to clean that up. I'm going to rename it year. So when I do that, I'm going to save it as my pivot table. And it gets saved and looks something like this, where I've got year and then I've got the, the different stocks. Um, okay, and then I'm going to make a plot from this data. So I'm also going to take that data set and um, this is just the raw data. I'm going to group it by symbol and I'm going to make a GG plot out of it. Now this plot time series comes from the time TK package. It, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the date and the adjusted value and I'm going to make a stock plot out of it. So the stock plot looks something like this here. Make it a little bigger so we can all see it. Um, it's got each of our different uh, stocks and we can see what the growth is and everything. Okay, so I'm going to save that as stock plot and then we have everything that we need to create our workbook. So I'm going to uh, use the open Excel package. I'm going to first initialize a workbook with this create workbook function and this is really cool. So what this does is it instantiates a workbook so I don't have anything attached to it but in memory in R um, we're, we're going to progressively build a, work, a workbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a worksheet to that workbook, and that's the equivalent of adding an Excel worksheet. So that sheet name, I'm going to name it, is Stock Analysis. So when I run this, and then if I um, run the, the workbook again, I can see that there's one sheet in there now, and it's called Stock Analysis. Um, then what I can do is add the plot that I just created up here. So I'm going to first print the plot, so that's the last plot that's been used in R. 
And then what this insert plot function does is it locates the last function that uh, the last plot that you've created and it's going to insert it into the sheet that I want to insert it into. Um, I'm going to tell it to start at column G and start at row three. So that's going to um, tell it where to place that plot. So I want to run this function now. And if I check this workbook book out again, I now have an image that's been added into my sheet one. So uh, it's going to be, uh, it's pointing to the image that's saved at this location on my computer. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some data. So what I want to do is I want to add this pivot table that I created here previously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write data table, which is a function that allows me to take this data, which looks something like this. It's got my, um, my year, Apple, Google, Netflix, uh, NVIDIA, and these are the stock returns by year uh, for each of those. And then I'm going to write it. So when I do that, I hit control and enter. Now if I check out that workbook again, um, it should now have, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't show anything different, but that, uh, data has been written to the sheet one. So now the hard part's over. All we need to do is save the workbook. So I'm going to point it to a location on my computer. I'm going to tell it to overwrite this file. So actually I'll, I'll delete it out and I'll show you what happens. Um, if you have an overwrite true, it will overwrite that file for you. So when I hit control and enter, it's going to create it here for me. Um, and I can see it's right here. And then what I'm going to do is actually open that file up now. And uh, if I hit control and enter, open Excel, it's going to open this file up for me programmatically. And we can see the results of our work. So we've got that file saved now. You can see I've got the data in here and this has all uh, been generated by R and it's been put automatically into an Excel file. So congrats, you just automated Excel and R. You should be happy. This is exciting stuff. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here, put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.